It's always when you're alone in the dark that you feel most vulnerable. Anything can lie between you and that light switch over there. Not knowing what lurks in the dark, that's what scares me the most. I've seen what lies in the darkness. Something far more terrifying than what you can imagine. Well, Mr. Ring, what do you find to be the source of your insomnia? Well, it all started about a month ago, I guess. Uh, I was walking home from work and I dropped my phone. I started to put it back together. As the nights passed, I began to see those eyes more and more. Like my shadow, I cannot escape them. Does the figure speak to you? No, no. It, it just watches, waiting. I'm afraid of it. The darkness, the shadow. I'm afraid it'll take me. Take you where? Home. To the shadows. I know he's going to be there when the lights go out. But I can't leave the lights on. The pain in your head, what do you mean? Pain just, just never goes away. nothing. It's the light. It just hurts my head sometimes. I see. I'm afraid, Mr. Ringham. That is all we do have time for today, though it all may seem doom and gloom. We're definitely making some headway with your... situation. Though, Mr Ringham, I can promise, given our recent breakthroughs, you have very little to worry about. You don't understand. They're everywhere. I mean, this medicine you give me, it doesn't... Mr Ringham, I assure you there is nothing for you to worry about. We shall revert back to the regular time next week. I'm sorry about this last minute reschedule. It shan't happen again. I know he thinks I'm crazy. Maybe what I'm seeing is just paranoia, or a side effect of those pills. But I know what I can see, and I know what I can feel. I'm not safe. I just hope that this time, it isn't fast enough. <laughs>